evening with your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush as always. Thanks for watching. The RCIPS launches a full scale search for local men and women to become Royal Cayman Islands police officers. Now, anyone out there who is between the age of 18 and 30 Caymanian and is interested in keeping our community safe, they're being encouraged to apply to be a part of the news group of recruits. Whilst working in an organization, I've experienced a, a tremendous amount of, of uh, you know, uh, opportunities and so forth. I'm currently in the High Potential Development Program, of which I've uh, been, um, been placed on within the last three years. Uh, during that program, um, I, I went through uh, many departments, and within those departments, um, I've experienced a lot of, uh, I've gotten a lot of experience. Um, I'm a current sergeant, which has been recently promoted and uh, attached to the Sea Ship at Georgetown Police Station at the moment. Uh, joining the RSIPS uh, in, in a career policing, you, there's many vast opportunities. Uh, it's an opportunity for a young Cayman to, to serve their country and their community. And as I mentioned earlier, this search is all part of the latest RCIPS recruitment drive, which is targeting uh, specifically Caymanians and those who have permanent residency. Now, if you think you have what it takes uh, to join the RCIPS, an open day is also being held this Saturday, October 5th, from 9.30 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon at the RCIPS Training and Development Unit that's located in the Governor's Square on West Bay Road. If you can't make the Saturday uh, open day, but you want to find out more about the post, uh, then you'd want to go online to the RCIPS website at rcips.ky slash new recruits, or you can email them at rcipsrecruitment.ky. Uh, Meantime, in a continuing effort to educate business owners on island, the Department of Commerce and Investment held another workshop on Monday. The advice this time focused on business insurance. Participants were reminded that a fire, floor, or an accident uh, flood or an accident rather could quickly destroy years of hard work and result in financial loss and setbacks. So protecting their investment by insuring it properly is, one, is something that's of the utmost importance. They also learned why insurance is important for small businesses, what types of insurance they need to consider and the questions they will need to ask when buying insurance coverage as well as what insurers will ask of them. Well, Her Excellency the Governor, Mrs. Helen Kilpatrick, continues her whirlwind tour of the uh, Cayman Islands. Governor Kilpatrick was in West Bay on Friday afternoon paying visit to, visits to homes of several of the district's elderly residents. One of those residents was 95-year-old Miss Ethel Ebanks. Mrs. Ebanks is a retired seamstress and a tourism worker who is described as someone who's very passionate about her traditional sand yard and still enjoys gardening and sewing. From there, Her Excellency was invited to the Cayman Turtle Farm by district MLAs, including government minister, the Honorable Tara Rivers. The governor toured the cultural display and turtle tanks. The district's school children performed, while an educational summary of the significance of West Bay heritage and culture was given. Residents were also able to meet and greet our island's newest and first female governor at the welcome reception. Now for a breakdown of travel expenses for Premier Alden McLaughlin and other government officials who traveled to Gibraltar, London and Jersey uh, back in early September. Both the Premier, the Honorable Alden McLaughlin and Sherpa Jennifer Ahern, uh, the Chief Officer for the Ministry of Health, Sports, Youth and Culture, traveled economy flights bringing the cost of their flights to $2,738.95 each. Both received a per diem allowance for eight days totaling $1,200 each. Now the Premier's accommodations was provided by the Joint Ministerial Council while Mr. Hearn stayed with friends in London, Minister of Financial Services, the Honorable Wayne Panton also traveled to London the same week along uh, with Councillor Mr. Roy McTaggart. Both gentlemen flew economy class as well, bringing the total cost of each of their tickets to $2,439.15 each. They both received a per diem allowance of $750 for a five-day period. Total cost of the trip for the four government officials was just $14,256 and 20 cents and as we reported on CIG TV back in September the trip actually gave the premier the chance to meet with his counterparts as well as to address issues affecting the Cayman Islands. Well as always if you missed any of today's uh, CIG TV news update you can always get the details on our Facebook and YouTube pages and don't forget to tune into Radio Cayman's Talk Today show that's weekdays from 1215 with uh, host Sterling Duane Ebanks. As always folks I'm Donna Bush Thanking you for watching CIG TV's news update. Have a great night.